So the little sisters came up without us even bringing the scriptures up and identified that this is Jesus the Christ. That's right. Now, how do you know that that's Jesus the Christ and that they lied to us about this? Because Jesus is black. Because Jesus is black, okay. And he's not white. And he's not white. I love that. I love that. Let me read it to you out of the Bible so the next time somebody asks you, you can point them to the right scripture, all right? Mm -hmm. Give me Revelation 1 and 14. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 14. Uh -huh. yeah. His head and his hairs were white like wool. The Bible says that Jesus Christ had hair on his head that was white in color, and the texture of it was woolly. I'm looking at woolly textured hair right on top of your head, my little sister. That's beautiful hair. Don't be ashamed of that hair. That's right. The Most High God got hair just like that, my That's little sister. His son, Jesus the Christ, has hair just like that. And my sister right here got hair just like that. All oh, praise to the most high. Now, what they've taught us here in America is that that is nappy, that is unattractive, that is hard to maintain, that it's all these negative things. But God says that his own hair is just like wool. That's right. Let's, let's show him that too. Let's show him that too. We'll come back to Christ. We we'll go to church every um, Sunday. We went to church yesterday. Y'all go to church on Sunday? Mm -hmm. Did Christ go to church on Sunday? No. Yeah. No, Christ didn't go to church on Sunday. Can you believe that? What's your name, little sis? Chanel. Chanel? Mm -hmm. All right, Chanel, before you leave, I want you to understand that Jesus Christ was black, which you already understand, and that if he was on the earth right now, he wouldn't be in anybody's church on Sunday. That's right. Jesus the Christ never went to church on Sunday. And none of his true followers went to church on Sunday. Can you believe that, my sister? Yeah. You can't believe that? Yeah, I can. Okay, you can believe it, but you never heard it. What do you think about it? You can't believe that either? We're going to show it to you by a matter of fact out of the Bible that Jesus Christ never went to church on Sunday. Let me show him the Father real quick that Willie here. Read that, Daniel 7. Daniel chapter 7, verse 9. Uh -huh. I beheld till the thrones were cast out, uh -huh. and the Ancient of Days did sit. The Ancient of Days is the Most High God, the Father of Jesus the Christ. Read whose garment was white as snow, uh -huh. and the hair of his head, the hair of the Most High God's head, was what? Head like the pure wool. It was like pure wool. Just like you, Sh Shantae. That's right. Chanel, mm -hmm. that hair on your head is just like the hair on the Most High God. And guess what? Okay, so we were talking about Jesus the Christ, how he's a black man. All right, go back to that. Go back to that. And then I'm going to show you that Jesus the Christ, our Messiah, the so-called black man, only he never went to church on Sunday. Read this. Revelation chapter 1 verse 14. Uh -huh. His head and his hairs were white like wool, uh -huh. as white as snow. As white as snow. The purest white. You got a, gra you got a grandfather, right? Great grandfather? He died. Okay. He died. But before he passed away, what color was his head? White. White. So guess what? Your great grandfather, before he died, he looked just like Jesus Christ. That's what Jesus Christ looks like. Read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Read. And his feet like unto fine brass. Hey, sister. Sister over here with the two young men. Come over here so they can learn what their true Messiah looks like. What? Because I guarantee you if I ask most young men and women in the community, what does Jesus Christ look like? They're typically going to tell us a so-called white man. That's right. And what we're doing right now is we're fixing our communities. My sister just walked past. Y'all come back over here too. We're fixing our communities by by re uh, re-imaging the minds of our sons and our daughters. Don't leave yet, little sis. Shut Sh up. I need you to understand Jesus Christ didn't go to church on Sunday. Read. Verse 17. Uh -huh. And his feet like unto fine brass. Like unto fine brass. Michael, pull up brass on your phone. Pull up burned brass on your phone. What you're going to realize is that you're closer to being a relative to Jesus Christ than this man has ever been portrayed to be. This was never Jesus the Christ. Right. My sister right here with the hat, what's your name? Crystal? What's your son's name? Sage and Kaden. David and Kaden? Sage and Kaden. Sage and Kaden? Do y'all know Sage and Kaden? Who's this man right here? What did he say? He said he don't know. He don't know. All praises to the Most High. No, praises. Nah, that's not God either. That's not God either. <laughs> Finish this up. Verse 15. And his feet like it's a fine brass, uh -huh. as if they burned in a furnace. Now the Bible says that Jesus Christ had feet like 
brass that was burned in the furnace. Now my brother, he's gonna, he's gonna walk over there and show you an image of burned brass. Come look at this image, my sister, look at this image. Excuse me? What color is it? It's brown. It's brown. brown. What color? Rusty. Rusty. Like a brown? Is it a dark brown, a light brown? Dark. dark. So the Bible says Jesus Christ has skin on his body that was like a dark brown. A dark brown. So we got to get this true image in our minds that Jesus Christ was a dark skinned man. He was never a white man with blue eyes. He was always a dark skinned black man with woolly hair. That's what the Bible describes him as. Now let me give you uh, Luke chapter 4. So we can show the custom of Jesus the Christ and how he never went to church on Sunday. Read. The book of Luke took the 4 verse 16 uh -huh. and he came to Nazareth where he had been brought up. This is where Christ was brought up. This is where he was raised. Chantel, check this out. Chantel. And as his custom was, as the custom of Christ was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day. On Sunday? On the Sabbath day. The Bible says Jesus the Christ went to the synagogue on the Sabbath day. My sister, what? On Saturday. You know what day Saturday is? I'm sorry, you know what day the Sabbath is? No? How old are you? 11. 11. Have you taken any Spanish before? Uh, no, but I learned it. You learned a little bit of Spanish? Okay, what is the Spanish word for Saturday? I just thought the numbers. Okay. Huh? The Spanish word for Saturday is Sabado. 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 Which means what? Saturday. Sabbath. Which means Saturday. So the Bible says Jesus Christ did what? And he came to Nazareth where he was brought up. Uh -huh. And as his custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day. So Christ went to so-called quote-unquote church on Saturday to observe the Sabbath. He never went on Sunday. And he never wants any of his followers to do something that he didn't do. What's your question? Nothing. We went um, to church on Friday and we go to church on Sunday. Friday and Sunday? Mm -hmm. Okay, now Friday night after sunset, that's okay. But Saturday is the main day that we congregate as Israelites. So what I want you to understand, little sister, is that you are a descendant of Jesus the Christ. Right. What was Jesus the Christ's nationality? Do you know? Who knows? Not me. Not me. Not you? What about I know you? I got a special name. Sis, do you know what his nationality was? He wasn't black. His his description of his skin would have been black, but what nation of people did he come from? Mary? Mary? Yeah, Mary was his mother. Mary, did you know? Okay. You got something for me? Hebrews? Yes, sir. All right. Bring this out. Check this out. Hebrews chapter 7, verse 14. Uh -huh. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Did y'all hear that? The Bible just told us what Christ's nationality was. The Bible says Christ came from the tribe of Judah. And who are the people from the tribe of Judah? You see this right here? The people from the tribe of Judah are referred to as the Israelites. So Jesus Christ was an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. Y'all follow me? So Jesus Christ was an Israelite from the tribe of Judah and he was black on his skin color and he had woolly textured hair, that means he looks just like who? Just like us. And that makes us what now? No, not black. Yeah, we are special. What was the word used to describe Christ? He was a what? It's evident that our Lord sprang out of what? Read it again. Verse 14. Uh -huh. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. So if Christ was black with woolly hair, and he's called Judah in the Bible. What are you called now, my sister? What are you called? What does God call you? Judah. You're an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. That's what the Bible is saying. That's right. The Bible is saying Jesus Christ and his people are Israelites. They are black. And these particular people come from the tribe of Judah. Do y'all understand that? Y'all understand that Christ is a black man? Y'all understand that Christ didn't go to church on Sunday? All right. All praises to the Mosai. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision 
The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.